Shoo! What's going on, folks? Before we jump into it, gotta let you know that Decked is sponsoring today's video. And as you guys know, Banjo has his, and it is loaded down for hunting season. Show us what's inside, Banjo. It rolls out waist height, and it's loaded with pews, ammo, and a duck's blind bag, and some. Oh, what are those? Some jumper cables? Yeah. She Banjo's prepared. Oh, what we got in there? Keeps going. What's all that? Battery pack. Re you're ready for the apocalypse, yeah, essentially. You never know. This is awesome. So if you guys don't know what Decked is, it'll be linked down in the description down below. You can check it out. Like I said, these drawers, they roll out waist height and they easily just roll right back in. The deck drawer system is weatherproof, secure, and makes organization so much easier. Deck's two full bed length drawers can carry up to 200 pounds. The drawers roll out waist height for easy access to your tools and gear. If your tailgate is locked, you can't open the drawers and you can't remove the system. Drawer locks are available for added security and peace of mind. Deck is made in the USA, has a lifetime warranty, and has an amazing customer service team. And I'm partnering up with Deck for their ultimate tailgate giveaway. There's only a few days left. It is your last chance to get entered to win this, it's a perfect time with football season and hunting season. The winner will get a decked product of your choice, a Yeti 45 hard cooler, a Traeger Ranger wood pellet grill, and a $500 gas gift card. So go ahead and click the link down in the description down below. Go to deck.com slash flare for your chance to win the end of the summer giveaway. Huge shout out to Decked for sponsoring today's videos. Brands like them that I partner with that allow me to do items and labels make videos for you guys at home to enjoy. So with that being said, enjoy the rest of today's video. Shoo! What's going on, folks? Welcome back. We are at the ranch. It is going to be a good time because Macy and the baby, Brooklyn, are coming down to see the ranch for the very first time. Brooklyn's actually never been here. Macy's been to the ranch one time, and it was kind of kind of close to when I first bought it, so, you know, a year, a year and a half ago. But she hadn't seen it since, so she kind of saw the cabin a little bit. She was honestly a little afraid to go inside. Um, she's seen a little bit, and then she left, and then hadn't been back for a year. So I've been trying to convince her, like, hey, go look at these videos. Look, we've done such a good job. We've remodeled the whole thing. It looks great. You should bring the baby down. We'll we'll spend the night. This will be one of Brooklyn's only nights away from home. I mean, she, we've gone on vacation a couple times, but bring down the crib. Let's have a good time. And uh, we're ready. To, we're also going deer hunting, Jake and I. I was like, you know, if we can go down there, Jake. You want to go hunt? All right, we're, you want to go deer? We're, all right, we're going to go deer hunting, baby. You just hang out. We'll be back. So she's going to come down. We're actually going to get everything unloaded right now. We got the duck trailer here, and the back of the truck is loaded down with some goods. We're only staying one night. I feel like we packed for a freaking week, but that's how this always goes because you got to make sure you have everything. But surprise, surprise, bam! Our new couch is here that for sure, for sure will not fit. Uh, there's zero percent chance it'll actually fit in the uh, cabin here, but we're gonna do what, we'll do what we can. We're gonna do our best to try to get it all to fit nicely. So we're gonna unload that couch and move the recliners, move the recliners and take them out. Try to put them back in the trailer, take the couch, put it in there and try to get this place kind of looking decent before Macy gets here for the final review. So she's gonna get here. We're gonna get everything ready. She's gonna get here. We're gonna show you guys her reaction. She's never seen it before. She All she's seen was the last time when it was, you guys you know, the Possum Palace. So she's gonna see the new, new couch, new cabin, and do everything. She's gonna bring Brooklyn down. As soon as we're done with the tour, Jake and I are actually gonna head in the side by side. We're gonna head out and try to get down. Big old Sheila. Big buck. It's one of them cooler rainy days wearing the old Bucks hoodie. Brand new hoodie, by the way. We're gonna go climb in a stand, not a tree, because there's a chance of rain and I ain't trying to get wet. And climb in a stand over the boomerang plot, which is like five acres of beans right now. We'll see what we see. This We're gonna be actually in the exact same blind that I killed my first buck with a bow out of. The, the big deer from last year. Same blind. So we're actually going to the same exact spot and we're gonna see what we see. We've got the bow. We got all the gear. We're gonna see how it goes whether we kill one or not we're not sure then we're gonna come back we've got some new steaks we we harvest we didn't harvest but we bought like a quarter of a cow so we got some new steaks to try so we'll cook dinner have a full meal we'll take you guys along for the whole basically the entire thing that will all crash here including macy and the baby i know i convinced her to come stay the night and then in the morning i think jake and i also are probably gonna go hunting because i'm like we're here we're at the ranch why wouldn't we go hunting so i think that's gonna be the plan is uh gonna hunt tonight probably gonna hunt in the morning um we have all the dogs we've actually got jake's dog marshall he's hanging out he's in his kennel doing doing marshall things right now and then we got Mill, Mill, Mill. we got Millie and Lucy and Finn is coming as well because we're obviously leaving our house so we can't leave the dogs so we've got four dogs a baby three adults in this cabin it's gonna be a hell of a test and we're gonna be hunting twice evening and morning I've actually never deer hunted back to back like that normally I drive all the way down we hunt and I drive all the way back so I want to you know help take care of the baby but I was like Macy bring the baby with we'll just live at the cabin I'm trying to convince her just to live down here this fall because there's so many great hunting opportunities here and the duck lake that we always duck hunt at is not too far from here either I'm like hey we should just live here for like two months because the videos would be fire. We've got a nice cabin now that the baby could actually stay in and be comfortable. And uh, I haven't convinced her quite yet. So you guys will have to comment down below and try to convince Macy to just live here. I am I am committing to all of our, our uh, of uh, rifle season, which is 10 days long. I'm going to be here for 10 days straight. I told Macy, whether, with or without you, I'm going to be down here. 
So if we can, if as long as like tonight goes smooth, the baby sleeps through the night and it goes great. We got cinnamon rolls for the morning, so we'll take you guys along with everything. As long as that goes great, I think I can convince Macy to come down and we can live here for at least 10 days during rifle season. And we gotta find the freak. That is the plan. So first things first, we gotta unload this couch, put it in there, and see if it fits. It probably won't, but we'll try. Stay tuned. the oversized cow. Yeah, I don't really fit that great. Like it. It's not, I mean, it's a little large for the, the cabin. Yeah. It, yeah. Yeah. Well, Costco. Jose. The nice thing though is you could easily sleep two people on here. Oh, so if we do need the space, right it's not it's not terrible. The ottoman actually has a the thing lifts up, which is kind of cool. So you can actually store yeah you can store stuff on there, pews and and whatnot. We actually moved a little bit. That corner is actually supposed to be here. I don't think it really matters. It stuck out a little bit more. See, it's just it's just barely just barely don't fit. We couldn't find a couch that really fit that great that we could also get in time. Everything it's like freaking cars. You've got to order them and it takes forever. So this one was in stock, Lucy. She's like, why are you shaking? You be all right? It's gonna be all right. Uh, so anyways, couches are in. I think it's better. You can seat way more than the actual, than the recliners. Uh, we have our recliners here. So we'll probably load those recliners back in to that, uh, the trailer, go put them in the shop and we'll just store them there. I don't know. We, we got too much furniture in here, but we needed something that we could sleep more people. The Guggens came in town and actually worked out fine. We had an air mattress, not the end of the world, but it would be nice to have this because when we were watching TV, only three people could sit. I mean, yes, you have the bar, but this way you could probably fit. I mean, you could fit one there, two, three, four comfortably. So at least another person. Um, plus again, extra sleeping area, which is it, which is definitely nice. So we may end up trading it out later. You know, maybe when my house is done, we need this in the basement or something. We can swap it out and put the recliners back if we decide, eh, this couch is too much. But for now, I think it works. So couch complete. We need to get, we're going to get all the beds made up, which isn't really super interesting for you guys. And then Macy should be here any minute now. And uh, we're going to give her the full tour. You see your full reaction and see if the Possum Palace is now Macy approved. Hey, how's it going? You excited? <laughs> she looks a little confused. Hey guys, how's it going? Macy's here with the baby and, and Bun Bun. Bun Bun's here for the ride. Well, she looks confused. <laughs> she's she's not quite sure. You all right? All right. Well, Macy, are you ready for the grand tour? I guess. Okay. Uh, you. Th this probably looks the same on the outside as well because we just all we did is redo the siding, but it wasn't yeah. like it wasn't like it looks similar. Hey, new stairs. All right. We got new, hey, Millie. Get Finn. Look, why we got so many damn dogs? Hey, how's it going? All right. So do you remember what the old one looked like or not really? Mm. It, I mean, I, I was telling the guys, I was like, you've been here, like you peeked your head in one time. Yeah, I uh, was like here. a year and a half ago. Yeah, I mean, I haven't been here since she was born. Yeah, and yeah it was well, she hasn't months been here before then. Hi, you excited? That's a camera. What do you think? I mean, I, I, I mean, I can give you the, the it's tour. It's a lot but better than I expected. It, hey, you gotta give <laughs> wow. BK Construction a little <laughs> credit. I mean, we only spent like two months down here slaving away at this sucker, you know. Well, I mean, I did help you pick out. You picked out the paneling. <laughs> The and colors. a floor. Yeah. I did a lot myself though. I picked out the I reclaimed wood wall. I picked out the counter. You too. helped you helped me with this. Yeah, I mean You I did, did pick out this, I will say. Well, I mean after I gave you direction, but you picked out the same. Direction sink. is not the word I would use. <laughs> For real. Direction you gave. I, didn't I, I said, I said, like I no, I said concrete or like a dark charcoal black. It needs to be dark though, because it yes. looks sick. Everything I showed you. No. no. Too many no, sparkles. That's not it. She, did she give me some shit with freaking sparkles and flake? A bunch of glitter? Sparkly. This is a man cave. What did yeah. you, you kept saying it looks like stone. I'm like, yeah, no, it looks it, like granite. Yeah. I don't want it to look like granite. I want it like a man cave. Uh, it actually still looks like granite, to be honest. But I, I, I got tired of arguing. I was like, yeah, whatever. Yeah. And it looks great. I'll give it to you. So we were at great. Menards for way too long. And we picked okay. out these. Okay. And we picked uh -huh. out. So these are all stained in the cooktop. You know, mm -hmm. yeah, butcher block looking because it's not real. But yeah, it looks good. Yeah, I really. think it looks good. And this, remember we, we configured all this. Oh, we, yeah, because we, we were going to do pantries. pantries. We didn't. Yeah. We decided, we voted for the countertop, which was actually that was Brad's call. Good call, Brad, because that yeah. was. Pantries would have been cool, but I think the countertop space is nicer. We still need to put something here, and everyone was like, Blue, why don't you just take this microwave and put it up there? Because I don't want a freaking microwave there, okay? I want something cool, some de decoration or something, like a spice rack. I don't know, something cool. But anyways, yeah, so dishwasher, oh, this everything's everything's uh, matching, and this is the bunk room, which this was a bunk room before, but we made it a lot bigger. Remember there was a closet? We knocked the closet out, so now it's actually wider. I do not remember it. You, I mean, I were you in here when the bunk bed was in here and it was like extremely tight and you couldn't hardly get in? Or no? Maybe was that bed not even in here yet? I don't remember. The bunk bed was I like you couldn't open the door and Oh, I did pick out that one. You picked out yep, you picked out the fan. That's the Brooklyn fan. It, oh, it's yeah, literally called right. the Brooklyn. It's not. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
It is. And sliding barn door. You know anything about that? Oh, yeah, that looks nice. Yeah. So, yeah, there were... Yeah, we got to finish trimming. Yeah. Listen, we're working. We're, we're in it. Not complete yet. Okay. But new bunk beds. We got those. The yeah. flooring. There was a uh, closet there that had the water heated under the stairs. Remember, there was the loft. Yeah. Was, this was like a two-story deal. So, we knocked out the loft. What do you think? That's a camera. Okay. And then we built this closet. So, here's all the... This is all the HVAC in here. It's packed in there but yeah it's wow uh, all right i thought it was kind of cool but okay it's not that's the hvac Hopefully you tank have to get hey it. tankless water tankless water heater because uh, instant hot water i picked up that chandelier looks nice this is the original yeah. this is the original table we need to get a new one because it yeah it's a little rough but i picked up these bar stools you know what you think and, yeah. oh look at banjo nice reclaimed wood wall you like that oh i do so that's that from nice. that's different depths are you being sarcastic no i do <laughs> she's talking shit right no, now really? i okay. like how you f this one up and it's not like the rest What's wrong no i do like i intentionally it. did that yes i'm saying i do like that look she is it gives being it sarcastic more i can tell no. i've known her long enough it more depth. Literally not it, being it looks like you, you, you bitch, you don't know how to measure, this, huh? Hey, this looks hey, real nice listen to uh, me okay go ahead this is what we're doing in our basement at the new house. We are? On the bar. Oh. Well, I, I don't, don't pay Brad to get, get me and Banjo. So we we'll got put it. you on it. All right, me and Banjo got it. Brad, you're out. Sorry. Okay, in here, look at the new Costco couch. Oh, yeah. Does it fit well enough? Is it, do you, you good? Yeah. Okay, I mean, so that corner is actually supposed to be over there. Who just got in the toilet? Toilet. toilet? Millie. Millie. She might be thirsty. Millie, here, you can open it. Let her have some. Oh, really? Yeah, I mean, what's it going to hurt? Flush it first. Make sure it's clean. Banjo might have left one, you know what I mean? Here, go ahead, go get a drink. Go get a drink, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. What do you think, buddy? So yeah, the corner was supposed to be over there, but it actually stuck out like six more inches. You would never know. Really? Yeah, yeah, believe it or not. Because the, it, like this the, part, yeah. this sticks out. So we can't, you can do it if you want. I was gonna say, maybe we'll move it tonight. And okay, see. and see. Yeah. Because then, then they have this, this thing actually opens. I don't want to knock a little shoe over. Oh, that's nice. This thing, did, it, it, it's yeah, blankets yeah, blankets. And, and I think they had it designed like to go over there. So it's like long with the corner. Yeah. It looks good so though. this is supposed to, this can move here. This can move over there. And it's a big and bed. And then it's a big bed. Really? Oh, let's do it. <laughs> this is just one big bed, huh? Is yeah. This is where you're sleeping tonight? Oh God, yeah. Okay. Hey, and with the dogs. This yeah. is a dog bed. All, okay. all four dogs are going to be right in there. Okay. And then. That lamp was actually still original. We had that because that was in the sunken media room before. So where we're at now, remember it stepped down yeah. and it looked like not great. And then there was mold <laughs> yeah. in the wall. So we fixed all that. That window was not there. There was a small window there. I do like that. I mean, maybe you could clean it up a little bit out here. What? Listen, Rick. All right. And we put got food plots down there. So maybe we'll shoot some deer. Uh, speaking of deer, we're, we are running a little bit late. And then in here, we made a little drop zone. Nothing too crazy. Oh, yeah. But enough to hang up stuff. You got it. And then this was the original drop zone we had before. So I just stuck it here, which I thought actually works out nice. Yeah. Because we have this big sliding glass door. We yeah. need it. We still need to, Come in. you know, get that out of there and rock it and whatnot. Uh, bathroom. I thought turned out nice. She's figuring it out. So bathroom, shower, shower. Oh. What's wrong? The curtain? You know, what's wrong with the curtain? This thing's, this thing's freaking sick. What oh, do you, wow. What's wrong with it? That's something. Really? <laughs> I don't see a problem with it. Don't get stabbed. That's yeah, that's the the hanger. Out. Hey, I, I like hey, what do you, hey, how's it going? Look at this mirror. We, we handcrafted the border. Would you even know? No. Okay. Well, that's barn wood. Like we've used a ton of cabin wood. This was Brad's wood, I think. And then we made it where uh, the electrical box in the bathroom, which is perfect. Uh, I don't know that we just overlooked that, I guess. But then I made it so we have access to the master, which I think yeah. is nice. And then did you, did you see this custom yeah, towel just holder? Yeah, I that I like it. Yeah, I think that's nice. If only this could have been like a little bit longer. So it's not sticking down. Yeah. yeah. Well, it, I'm sorry. <laughs> can only do so much, right? Don't you? Pay, beggars can't be choosers. Okay. And then this is the master. Oh yeah. So this is I, I made it look nice. Yeah. We got dog beds and lamps oh, and the beds even made. I did that, by the way. <laughs> I, I made sure of it. Oh, so. you want to get on there? Yeah, what do you, so you, you're, you're, you're approving it. Yeah. I mean, I, I would say, would you stay here? But <laughs> you're, unless you want to go home now, now, you pretty much are. So, hey, no running. <laughs> no, no running. Well, um, let me see. What else we got? I think that's pretty much it. Um, there's not really a whole lot. We fixed up the shed, but you're not going to care about that. But this looks good. I mean, it. you're about it. Yeah. Uh, we still have a little bit to finish up. Oh, yeah, because of bar, this little trim thing. that We'll, we'll make that better Close. at some point yeah. but but the bar looks nice i feel like so anything you would have done differently if you're like man if only you guys would have done this um, or or is this just we just hit the nail hit the nail some baby gates would be nice she's freaking fast hey 
What are you doing? I say we take her in the blind. I think we should. Oh, Let's yeah. see your dad. You want to come here? I say we take you in the blind. Anything we missed? No? I don't think so. Really? I mean, we picked out some blinds this morning. Blinds are coming soon. Which are we got them done this morning, which lighter. would be nice. Um, so they're, yeah, they're a little light color, so they'll they'll make it less brownie in here, um, I guess. But anything else? Good? Approved? Yeah. Well. So far, the visual appeal has gotten the green light. Now, the cooking, you gotta use our utensils and our oven and our cooktop and our grill. We'll do that when we get back from deer hunting. So that'll be the test, the cooking test. And then sleeping, we gotta make sure little shoes get in a good night's sleep. If we pass the sleeping test, then it's just breakfast. That's a cakewalk. If you pass all those tests, then I will say the cabin is Macy approved. So that being said, let's go do some deer hunting. Hey guys, we're getting a few reps in. I feel like I'm, look, I'm boxed out. Right? Look, the ghost pack, okay, holds the binos, look. Bam! Custom made, okay. And we've got the long sleeve with the old ninja face mask, okay? With the matching hat. We're freaking boxed out right now. And the old backpack, too. And the, and yeah. the backpack. What we got here? We're gonna rip a few, make sure. I've been shooting for a while. 30? Now these pins are 10, 20, 30, 40, or 15? 15. So maybe go to 25? Last one I shot was at 25, yep. and I didn't find it, so I gotta improve that shot. 27? 25. All right, you guys educated me in the last episode when I went deer hunting. Well, not really educated, just aim a little lower. Aim, basically, aim for the heart, which is a, is a no-brainer, but aim for the heart, which will, in turn, basically compensate for the duck or uh, adjust for the duck. So if they do duck, it still hits the lungs and not no man's land. You guys educated me. That's no man's land. I didn't know there was a formal word. I still think I clipped a lung. It just wasn't enough to take her down. So, all right, 25. Make some magic happen, boys. We're going to get Big Sheila tonight. So 25 would be the second pin. First red one, I believe. First red one, yep. Might be a heart, baby. We got one more just in case. Just, just for good measure. But like I said, since last deer hunt, we've been getting freaking ready to rock. I learned the old bend in the arm. You guys been teaching me a lot. I'm new to the archery game. That sounded like weeds. Yeah, I think I might admit. I think I flinched on that last one. Hey, check out this first one, though. <laughs> I think I aimed a little too low. Because you guys were telling me to aim low. This first one, though, okay? Hear me out. This first one went. Oh, that's a good shot. Oh, Jay clipped the heart. Look at that. Hearts right here, but this, the other one went, I think it went low. Big rip. She looks all right. That's good. Dude, oh, it went through the heart on the other side. Look at this. Oh, yeah. All right. I rushed the second shot. I First shot was good. inside jumped on the door. No, it, it scared me. Did you yeah, hear it? Yeah, I did too. Well, I was like, I like let go and then I flint. Either way, I suck. I get it. But th that's a, if I can just do what I did, okay? I only need one arrow. I don't need to shoot two. If the first one does this, that deer will drop. So... I was shaking a little bit on that second. I don't know why. I got that adrenaline going. Hey, calm down a little bit. All right. We're going to jump in the side by side. We're going to head out. And then we're going to walk to the stand, the blind. Fortunately, there's no freaking wind. So hopefully the bucks are horny. Shoo. We made it, boys. All right. We uh, parked the mule. We're going to be sitting. Yikes. Probably 500 yards that way at least. Um, parked the mule here. We're going to be sitting here. And then we're going to walk this way. The uh, plot that I shot that doe in like a couple weeks ago is just over that ridge. We're not going to go there. We're actually going to send the other one. The other one is where we've seen big bucks. Actually, LFG came in, filmed some Guggen videos, and he saw a monster, monster deer right over here. That's where we're headed. I'm low-key kind of pissed that the wind's not doing wind things. <sighs> And I don't know where my scent elimination spray went. I freaking, I somehow lost that, which isn't good. So, I don't know. You think, I think we should carry these or just sit in the lawn chairs that are there? Or? I shot my first deer. Well, I didn't, actually, I got on my knees. I got on my, I got on my knees. These are way comfier. I say, here's what I did. Carry them, and if we just get gassed, just, just leave, just leave them, and we'll pick them up later. Let's put the bucks back, back on. Load it down with the goods. You think you can strap that to me? But I got my binos in here. Got my range finder there. And got my release in there. And there's room over here, here. Things freaking sick. It's huge. Like, you can, we made it so it's like, if you're just, you know, running up in a saddle, like, you can put almost everything you need in there. The backpack, all I really have in there is I have a hoodie in case it gets cold. Some jammer. What happened? I just missed the buckle. Oh, big rip. Some snacks. You know, extra stuff. Like, not, in the camera gear. Camera gear. We got a lot of camera gear. So, anyways, we're going to get this strapped up. We're going to head out. Hopefully, we don't bump any deer. Fingers crossed. Supposedly gas. 
gassing us out in here. I don't know. Can't breathe. Can't spray. We're not supposed to breathe it in, Jake said, but I couldn't find my spray. Uh, but I found that. I don't know if that stuff actually works. We'll find out. But there's like no wind. So we're just gonna see if these chairs are comfy though. This, these chairs were the move. Just a waiting game at this point. This is the first sit in a blind for the year. We sat in the tree once. Fired. Did not recover. I think I'll, I'll make a better shot this time. I'll, I'll factor in the, the duck a little bit. And aim a little bit lower than last time. Saturdays. Now we wait. I'll let you guys know if we see it here. fellas it has been 30 minutes and we've seen i lost count mama and baby buck. grandma little buck big buck doe and a little buck seven we've seen seven deer in like 35 minutes we just actually he's still out there i don't know if, oh he went he's went right behind a tree he's still walking but i want to give you guys a quick update we saw seven deer walking around never really i mean i had a shot on the little buck actually it's probably the only one i really had a good shot at the rest have been either busting us or just a little weary. The, the, the little or the bigger buck, he was nice. He's probably two and a half, maybe three and a half, but it, his body looked really young, but he was a nine point. So, I mean, give him like two years and he'll be freaking, he'll be a stud. He actually reminded me a lot of the, the buck I shot last year, but it just, you know, smaller. But just a typical, nice looking deer. Probably, you know, like I said, two years, he'll probably be freaking stud. He came in freaking upwind. Everything else has been smart enough to come out. We thought it was supposed to be 15 miles an hour out of the south, which would be blowing that direction, which means all these deer that are coming out of the woods wouldn't be able to smell us. Freaking wind switched to like an east wind that's like four miles an hour. That's pretty much what we got for an update. We're seeing a lot of deer. It's still early. We've got probably an hour and a half to two hours of shooting light left, and those big ones are probably going to come in right at dark, so fingers crossed. Holy smokes. <sighs> that was a giant, giant deer. That was the exact same deer that LFG saw during Guggen Week here. 
it is, I don't know if the gamer does it justice, he is a monster. Like, he's not as big as the freak mass-wise, but inches-wise, dude, I, he is tall, wide, girthy. <sighs> that band's right here, he'd be excited. The deer's gonna be pushing 300 pounds in November. That was the thickest, I mean, just the meat. He was just popping out of his skin. And it's like early season, boys. They ain't do no rut or nothing yet. <sighs> he was with the other buck that we saw that we were like, that's a nice year, maybe give it a year. Bam. That's you versus the guy she doesn't have to worry about. That dude is giant. That's, if the freak shows up, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm gonna shoot the freak. But I would say that's enemy number one. You guys need to name him. I mean, it's just a monster. Monster. I don't know what else to describe. He's just a fucking monster. He's huge. <sighs> but he went, he, he, he's smart. He sniffed out Rackley. He sniffed out us. So we either need to figure out what trails he's using and set up on some type of crossing where he won't smell us, or we need to set up some mock scrape. We're thinking about putting some mock scrapes on that tree. I think it's still too early for them to be hitting it, but like if we can get it up and going, we may have to give this guy a couple more weeks. But that we've only hunted this place twice. I hunted it once and Rafi hunted it once. We saw him both times. So he's a vocal beauty. We saw a total of 18 unique deer tonight. There's literally three does out there right now still doing doe things. We had one doe that came at 15 yards, a couple other ones that were like 25 to 35. But I didn't want to shoot him because we're waiting for that guy. That's why I didn't shoot him. I'm waiting for that guy. I just now have to figure out how to smart him. So anyways, we're gonna let it get a little darker. We're gonna crawl out of the stand, hike back, drive back, and uh, Brooklyn will probably be, she might be down by the time we get back. It'll be close. Put the baby down. We got some steaks to cook up, make a nice meal, and uh, hit the sack, I guess. Then we're gonna get up in the morning. We're not gonna sit here though, even though I know he's coming or to this place frequently. We wanna go sit on the desert plot in a tree tomorrow. Um, we have, that's kind of what we're doing right now. Like we're trying to kill stuff, but this is like pre-rut. So we're trying to kind of study everything. So we wanna go in a tree in the desert plot. He might cruise the desert plot. The freak loved the desert plot last year. So there's a chance we'll see him too. Um, but right now we're just building the target list. He is enemy number one. The freak is right up there with him. So anyways, we'll see you guys back at the cabin. Shoo. We have to be quiet. Are you out your God forsaken? Never seen water before, or what? <laughs> no, I'll do this all day. You gonna be all right? All right. Is that? <laughs> hey, hey. It's, it's gonna be all right. All right. Well, we made it back. We have to be somewhat quiet. Hey, it's gonna be all right. Why you, look how many dogs we have. I don't, I'm not sure why there's so many dogs here, but this is what we had to bring down since no one would be home. Anyways, hey, how's it going? How was your evening? What were you watching? Ooh. The Great British Baking Show. That shit slaps. How was the ba How was the baby? She go down okay? We yeah. mi we missed it. We missed the baby going down by like five minutes, but we didn't want to excite her. She yeah, see, she's on the monitor. She's she's in the bathroom. Nice. So that's the only place without windows. Like that's actually the only place without windows. Now that I think about it. So baby's down. Your night was good. Yeah. We saw a monster deer. Didn't shoot him. Monster. You want to see a picture of him? Uh, sure. Do you know what a monster? Do you, like would you know a big deer when you see it or no? Wait, there's another one. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. He's a big one. It's a big deer. Yeah. <laughs> or it's Brooklyn goes. Yeah. Deer. Yeah, <laughs> Brooklyn loves the deer that's mounted in my uh, office. So anyways, saw a big deer. We saw 18? Yeah, I think so. 18, 18 deer. deer. Unique deer. Does or uh, bucks? B three bucks. We had crab Four. claw. Crab claw? Crab claw, the one that walked right underneath us that caught us off guard. The little guy. Oh yeah, so four, you're right, yeah, four. Four bucks. Four bucks, four bucks the rest, 14 does. You saw one of the bucks twice. Yeah, he came back mm. twice, he came back. Twice. So anyways, we're back, baby's down. It's time for some steak. We've got two New York strips, and those are tenderies, I think, tenderloins. Oh yeah. Tenderloin steak, I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure. So we're gonna get them seasoned up. We've got the old duck seasoning, and some smoke, she didn't say smoky. I was like, you smoke it, you I want some on the Traitor. Just Listen, traitor. I usually just use salt and pepper. Tra you're a trader. She's, she's, a, she's a trader is what she is. And we got some freaking bussin' Hawaiian rolls. And we got some nice Bob Evans. Don't sleep on Bob Evans. It's the greatest. And then we have bacon Brussels sprouts. What about dessert? Um, there's some pumpkin spice cheesecake. Where did she find Really? It? We got, we don't have good dessert. I think one rod ate all my dessert, I'm pretty oh, sure. <laughs> yeah, he ate all my de cosmic brownies. Yeah, Son of a... Anyways, we're gonna get to cooking. We're gonna get all this cooked up, show you guys the spread, and uh, enjoy a nice meal here at the cabin. Stay tuned. Mm-hmm.
Oh yeah. New York strip, mashed potatoes, roll with butter. How'd that go? What? Cooking. Oh, fine. I just don't really like electric. I couldn't afford an induction, I don't have to tell you. Brussels sprouts with, you ever had these with bacon? No. Oh man. The Brussels sprouts suck, you know what I mean? <laughs> bacon though? Mmm. What do you guys think? That dog never sits. So <laughs> she's <laughs> definitely excited for this. Well, that's what we're having for dinner. Fortunately, no dessert, because one rod ate it all. But we're gonna hang out. It's already pretty late. Call it a night. Tomorrow morning, though, we're gonna go sit in the desert plot for the first time ever. I've never hunted in the desert plot. So we're gonna go there. And what do we have for breakfast? We, we got any sneak peeks? We've got hash browns. Ooh. Cinnamon rolls. Ooh. Eggs. Ooh. And bacon. Damn. Yeah, we should just not shoot something when we come back and eat. <laughs> That's what I'm That's saying. gonna be fine. No, we're gonna shoot Big Sheila if she comes by. So we'll see you guys in the morning. Morning, folks. Oh, you ever try to sleep in a small cabin with four dogs? I shouldn't say four, because March was fine. Three. This is plenty. My dogs don't know how to sleep. How'd your dog do? Probably great. Yeah, he napped on the bed. Did he? Yeah. See, that's the thing, is if, if the dogs had the bed, I feel like they would have been better. I had him on the floor in our bedroom. Two in the morning. Lucy. <laughs> Loudest sneeze you ever heard. Woke me up. Baby starts crying. I'm like, this is a nightmare. Is that Finn? Finn, what the? What are you doing? You can go outside. Hey, you can go potty. Come on. Go potty. Lucy, stay up. Besides getting like half an hour of sleep, that's bright. But hey, welcome. Here's the best thing about the cabin. It's like 6:05 in the morning. I get up at like 6:30 every day. I'm like, man. The only reason I look like ass is because I didn't sleep. But if I did sleep, yeah, pretty much get up at the same time. So that's that's the beauty of staying here at the cabin. Don't have to get up super early. We get our nice little white Keurig going. Macy did bring some PSL, but you know, what did you, you put in there? The little vanilla one? No, or the, the Verona? Uh, yeah, black coffee. Yeah, oh, black coffee. I got though. It's PSL season, boys. So, anyways, we got the Bucks gear on. It's cold, so I'm wearing actually this heavy duty camo hoodie. And I've got the lightweight under here. We got the bow ready to rock and roll. We are gonna get all the gear put side by side. We're gonna sit in the desert plot for the very first time. Is it raining? Why is it wet outside? I was trying to figure that out. I looked at the radar. It was so foggy last night. Do you Did think you that's, that? what, they, they, that's what it is? Maybe. I'm worried about my ass being wet, but I feel like we might just have to embrace it. It's because it's gonna be it's gonna be damp when we're walking. So come on, friend. Hey, go back to bed. No, go back to bed. Alright, well, we'll see you guys up in the tree. Alright boys, we, we're dropping off the mule here. We parked up on top of this ridge and we've got probably like a 300 yard walk to the desert plot. Alright boys, we're in the stand. It's actually probably pretty close to shooting light by now. This is one of those, you're not going to see them until they're in range. If that boy shows up, Arrows will be slung. Is that the right word? Slung. Fingers crossed. Fellas, oh, look how cinematic this looks. Seen that shit in a movie once. We had two little buckies. Oh, Spike, come walking through here. That's it, that's all we've seen. It's about 8.30, so we'll probably give it another hour or so. Nothing's really moving, there's not any wind. The little wind that we do have is actually blowing this way. That was the first, actually, that was the first sit that we've had a lot. This is our third time sitting this season. We're like, they paid us no attention. They had no idea we were here. The first time, you know, we saw, sat in a tree, we had some bust us. Last night, you could see, you could tell they, they knew what was going on. This was a 
That was a seven yard shot. I ain't got a pen for that, so freaking close, but all it's gonna take is big boy from last night to make that same route. You saw that one, he was licking and scratching on that tree. We uh, we put a mock scrape there last year, so we'll have to freshen it up a little bit. But I think that's probably the best window for opportunity for killing. Let them walk past you, stand up, draw back. Let them start, you know, scratching and sniffing and licking on that branch. And we'll let that arrow fly. So I think our setup is great. I think the wind is good. We just need the right deer to walk by exactly the same as the other one. And we're going to have freaking venison for lunch. So anyways, stay tuned. Oh, hey, how you No, Millie, Millie. Get in there. You know. Holy smokes, does it smell good in here? Oh, this going? Smoky. Hey, uh, you got the fan on though, so hopefully that'll help. <laughs> I know I didn't. That's, that's Brad, Brad the Builder's punching the air right now because he wanted to put a vent hood in here, and I said no. But dang, that bacon! Oh shit, we got bacon. That's looking a lot. What better. do you think, buddy? How'd you sleep? Better than me, probably. <laughs> yeah. What do we got? We got bacon. We got eggs. Here, do you want me to take the baby? Here, hang yeah. on. I feel. I feel like I should take the baby. Come here, Bubba. Come here. This looks good. Oh, look at the cinnamon rolls in here. Really. Oh, God. Oh, they look like they're... Why are they smoking? Are they getting burned on the bottom or no? No, I think it's just the stuff that's on the bottom of the oven. Really? But you can take them out, or I can take them out. Um, probably, you, you might need to, just, okay. you know. All right, I'll stand here and try to stay away from the bacon splatter, but... Uh, we saw two deer. Less impressive than last night. We were on a trail, though, so it's a little different. It's a little different strat. Two bucks, though. But they were they were little guys. They weren't, they weren't very big. Definitely shooters. These hot pads are not doing anything. Is your hands hot? Yeah. I'm sorry. Cinnamon rolls, baby. This is this is the life, the mm -hmm. cabin. You wake up, well, you go hunting, see some nice big deer, get a terrible night's rest because your dogs, wake up at six, nothing too crazy, go out, enjoy a nice crisp morning, come back to a full freaking breakfast. Well, we're gonna finish cooking and uh, when we're all finished up, we'll show you guys the full spread, so stay tuned. Look at the spread there, ladies and gentlemen. You look very confused there for a second. Well, we've got cinnamon roll, eggs, hash browns, bacon, OJ. It would be better if, you know, we just got done skinning yeah. the monster deer. Even though we didn't shoot anything, at least we're enjoying a delicious breakfast at the cabin. All right, there's Bun Bun for the road. Eh. Good to go. What'd you think? It was good. Besides not sleeping. <laughs> Minus the dogs. Did, oh, yeah, she's excited. She's ready to go back. But overall, you're good. Yeah. You would stay here yeah, again. Yeah. Hey, we gotta mission accomplished. Get a little bit better. Is the pantry situation poor or what? Stock. Well, you told me you had a bunch of <laughs> seasoning and it was like... All you need is duck seasoning. What else did you need? Apparently. What else do you need, Lila? She's just a duck seasoning hater. All right, drive safe. We are headed out as well. But it was a good, it was a successful trip. Um, No, we did not harvest the deer, but we saw plenty. You guys saw that, saw a lot. We're learning a lot. We're starting to study the deer. It's like, it is go time and game time, but it's also like, we still have, you know, two full months of deer hunting, like good deer hunting, uh, not including December, which December you can hunt too. But I always like October, November, are like my two deer hunting months. And same thing with waterfowl. It's kind of all in the same. But Macy came out, quick short trip, a little overnight. We learned, hey, if you're going to bring four dogs to the cabin, find a place for them to sleep because in the bedroom, on the floor, they are just the loudest, most obnoxious. Millie was snoring, Lucy was sneezing. I, I we, we were, Jake and I were talking about like, maybe we just need to get them like one of the, like basically like the chicken coop that we just bought and put it out like back there run some AC and heat to it and like just lock them in there. It's the dog house. They can do whatever they want in there. They can't ruin anything. Or I just need to bring their kennels here because they always sleep, they sleep in their kennels every night. I think that would help. I think just being in an unfamiliar uh, spot kind of threw them for a loop. So well, we got some kinks to work out, but overall success. We had a great dinner. We had a great breakfast, awful sleep. So I'm definitely gonna be taking a nap. But again, we saw some nice deer. The mon I'm gonna call him the monster for now. I, I, unless you guys come up with a better name, the monster. Like I said, he's the number one guy on the hit list right now. So we're gonna have to do some uh, strategic uh, planning to 
see if we can target and catch him slipping. Catch that monster slipping. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. You guys like these type of, I wouldn't really call them camping, but just hanging out with the fam, maybe trying to harvest some wild game of some species. It's just pretty low key. Like there wasn't any like crazy challenge. It just the cabin vlogs. The ca cabin vlogs. You guys like the cabin vlogs. You guys have let us know. Cause Macy said you heard it. She said she would come back. Like I said, I think we just need to dial it in a little bit. Apparently we need more seasonings. I guess she's just, she isn't, I, all meat is for all meat, including eggs. She, barely, she didn't believe that or hash browns. It's not that she put, hey, I'm just gonna say she put a little too much seasoning on the hash browns. Uh, in Brooklyn thought they were spicy. So uh, listen. That wasn't me thing, but we're learning. So, hope you guys enjoyed the cab vlogs. Like I said, if you want to see more of these, Jake and I were also talking, like, there's so many deer out here that we should definitely take Macy deer hunting. Probably not with the babies. We might have to find a babysitter, maybe Uncle Banjo. He'll definitely make her cry. But, we gotta take Macy out. I think she would be, whether we shoot one or not, I think she would enjoy seeing all the deer. I mean, we saw, whatever, 18 deer last night. Like, that's crazy. So, if you want to see taking Macy out hunting, maybe a little shoe hunting. She's got almost the bleat call dialed. Oh, she really? makes She makes a little little sound at some time. Yeah. She, it's like, yeah, it kind of sounds like a little, little bleat action. So, maybe Brooklyn would get on bleat duty. So there you have it folks. Like I said, if you enjoyed the cabin vlogs, let us know in the comment section down below. And we'll catch you on the next one and peace.